Welcome. Hi there. I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome again to our reading Machiavelli's Prince. Um, we're using Leopold D'Alvarez's translation of the Prince, published by Waveland. There is a reference uh, below, a uh, link to it. Um, today we are doing uh, chapter um, uh, 17, uh, which is the third chapter on the discussion of the virtues, the, 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 the question of character, the things that princes can be praised or blamed blame for. Starting with 15, introduced the theme. Last chapter, uh, uh, 16, we dealt with liberality and parsimoniousness. Today, uh, we're going to get to the big question, the question that, uh, uh, that, that we say this is one of the themes that Machiavelli is known for. Uh, the chapter title is Of Cruelty and Pity, if it is better to be, uh, and if it is better to be loved than feared, or to the contrary. Okay. This, we, you know. So the theme is of cruelty and pity, but then the question is: Is it be better to love or to be feared? Okay. And 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 to be honest, he's made you know he's kind of hinted so far. In last you know he's the last two chapters he makes it clear that it's best to be avoided to be hated. And held in contempt. So you know those are he's kind of made clear some things. And he said it would be better, uh, uh, and you know better to be feared, okay, than loved in that sense. Um, but we'll continue again here now with this uh, uh, chapter. This chapter is seven paragraphs long. Um, um, we start at page a hundred of the Alfred's translation. Um, the first paragraph, uh, descending then to the other previously mentioned qualities, I say that every prince ought to desire to be f reputed to be full of pity, uh, uh, and, ev and not held to be cruel. Nevertheless, he ought to take heed that he does not use this pity badly. A full sentence. Now, the Alvarez has a note. Pedestro, uh, the word is used. Machiavelli uses this term, uh, 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 uses the term pieta and pedestro, with, which are usually translated as mercy and merciful. But these terms are more adequately translated as piety and piteous. Pity, uh, 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 piety has the meaning now obsolete of pity or mercy, but it also refers to man's godliness or religious devotion. This is Note one, page one hundred three, um, uh, 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 and he goes uh, devotion, and, and a piteous man could be pious or merciful or both. Period. The choice then is between being cruel on the one hand, or, or being f pious or full of pity on the other. Okay, and remember, in cha he makes reference to see chapter twenty one, where Ferdinand is said to have turned to a. Uh, uh, pistola cruelty, pious cruelty, or cruel pity. A uh, cruel pity seems to uh, 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 would seem to be that pity, as uh, the remark on Florentine people would imply, which led them uh, uh, to greater cruelty uh, 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 being done. Cruel pity then would be distinguished from cruelty well used in chapter eight. Again, remember in chapter eight we talked about the, the example of cruelty well used versus cruelty badly used. Okay. Now, so pity and cruelty are kind of two things that are tied to each other. So pity is, in one sense, piety, but it's also to be merciful. Okay, and this double meaning of this in the Italian, particularly uh, the time of Machiavelli, she needs to be kept pay attention to here, and um, uh, what is sometimes translated as oh, piety, faithfulness. But no, this is not faithfulness. This is about the question of should you show mercy, right? Should you have pity towards people, and and, and if and, and it is tied to the question of cruelty or pity, and that's why it uses the. Uh, I think it's it's it is the correct uh, um, conception here. Now he says, um, and you have to make sure that you don't. You, in other words, pity should not be. You should have it. You should have. You seem to have it. Or he says it's it's the desire to be reputed uh, uh, as full of pity. 
and not held to be cruel. That this is every prince ought to desire this. Nevertheless, he ought not he ought to take heed that he does not use pity badly badly. That's the first sentence. Secondly, Cesare Borgia was held to be cruel. Nevertheless, that cruelty of his repaired the Romalia, united it, and reduced it uh, 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 to peace and faith. Again, this is the example that he gives uh, us, remember, back in um, uh, a chapter, I think it was in uh, a ch uh, chapter 8, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and therefore, um, thus, uh, um, in other words, this is interesting that the Alvarez has a quote, a footnote here on page 103, footnote 2, Rudolta de la uh, Pasa in Fedes, right? This is what he's translating. To reduce, that is, to restore or bring back, but which, uh, uh, with the implication of uh, 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 compulsion, as when one reduces uh, a town to ruin, okay? The, uh, as Machiavelli previously said, his credo is cruelty well used, chapter 8. And, and in uh, uh, arms making men believe, chapter 6, okay? as well as making good laws. In other words, uh, 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 again, chapter uh, 12, uh, you know, this discussion of the laws, that good laws, good arms require good laws, and good laws re uh, uh, require good arms, right? So therefore, this idea of, uh, uh, he's talking here about uh, the example of this, is, is his cruelty allowed him to reduce the Romalia to piety and faith, right? And to good government, he said. Uh, uh, so therefore, this is the a uh, 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 point here about cruelty in that sense. Um, he says, uh, um, peace and faith, right? He used the peace and faith of the Romalia. If one will consider uh, 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 this well, one will see that he had much more pity than the Florentine people, who in order to avoid the name of cruelty, let Pistora be destroyed. Now, the Alvarez has a footnote here. Pistora was divided by factions. The Florentines kept ruled over Pistora by using factional conflict to keep the city divided. Um, um, uh, Pistora was divided by faction. Instead of extinguishing them, as Cesare Borgia extinguished the lords of the Romalia, the Florentines permitted the disorder to con continue, letting the factions in the city destroy one another. The consequence was the Pistora was literally torn apart by riots, and the city suffered greatly. Uh, again, you'll say she chapter 20 below. Um, uh, uh, when we go get to it. Um, so, this is, so this is what he says, that, that it, the example of Borgia is, is contrasted with the Florentine. The Florentine, with, out of pity, instead of destroying or leveling, reducing them to peace and uh, faithfulness, they simply used an intermediate means of introducing faction in it, and that, that the factions fight each other. And what ended up this ended up being a, this ended up being, um, in other words, this is the example. Um, Who is more cruel? Cesare when he reduces the Romalia into peace and faithfulness, or they that then the destruction and dis uh, the riots and tearing uh, the factional conflict and tearing apartment by they the Florentines uh, 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 that destroys ultimately Pistora. Okay, again this is a, an understanding. Machiavelli says the goal is, if, 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 if in other words, mercy sometimes can produce great. Attempting not to be appearing to be cruel might actually lead you to be more cruel. Okay. Might actually been more pity to been uh, um, to use the violence uh, uh, to do the thing that needed to be done because at least the good order would have been established, okay? And, and Pistola would not have been destroyed. Um, uh, th uh, th he continues. Therefore, a prince ought not to care about the infamy of cruelty with respect to keeping his subjects united and faithful, for which very few examples of cruelty, for which, and sorry. At the, at the faithful semicolon, for with very few examples of cruelty, he will be able to show more pity than those by, who, uh, uh, by too much pity, allow disorders to follow. From whence uh, arise murders, rapines, because these usually harm the entire body, while those executions, which come from a prince, 
harm someone in particular. Now, what he, now Machina is very clear for you. In other words, the disorder, but the pity that brings disorder, the pity that allows for disorder to happen, factional conflict, that leads to the breakdown of civilization, a breakdown of a situation, a, 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 a factual conflict in civil war that leads to, and that, not the civil war in the American sense of the north and the south, but civil war like in um, uh, what happened in Yugoslavia, breakdown in Yugoslavia, in, in Serbia, Kosovo, or what happened in Bosnia, you know, uh, uh, or even what happened in Africa, Rwanda, where one tribe will kill and cannibalize the other one, right? Uh, this is... Um, Civil war will become blood fruity. Brother will kill brother, uh, 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 um, and or, uh, what will happen? All f um, and in this civil war, all things are permitted: rape, murder, slaughter. Um, it will be the bloodiest slaughter. And that a ruler who, out of pity, didn't use violence to avoid the disorders that will lead to civil war is. Is, is bad. His pity is bad. That's a cruelty, in fact. His pity is not real pity in that sense, Machiavelli would argue. That rather it is, it, it is in fact a form of cruelty. It's pity badly used um, in this sense. Where, and, 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 and the end would be the destruction of the thing you tried to save or to try to preserve or, or to gain. Um, so therefore, a few examples of cruelty, which does what? The cruelty only attacks a particular people. The pity that leads to the, the harm that eats the whole, the whole system, the whole body politic. The whole body politic will feel the rapine and looting and murder and killing. No, that's, we, can, we, can make, we can make a very politically incorrect argument that in a world where few are punished for the benefit of everyone, that they, might, they, might, they might be better peace. This is the little. This is a little dirty secret, that sometimes the minority must suffer because if the minority is seen to, by not punishing the minority brings a disorder into the uh, the community, and it leads to license and and uh, uh, the breakdown of order that leads to collapsing of uh, 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 of of trust and uh, interconnection. Then what happens will be. Uh, therefore, what would have been done out of the sake of nobility, uh, of n be virtue and human rights, end up being will end up actually re producing mass murder and bloodshed. See, this is the problem of good intentions. Machiavelli's warning here about the good intentions. Good and in as the famous slogan goes, "The road to hell is paved with good intentions," and pity. The road to hell of violence is often done because we intended good. We intended good, and but what happened? The result ends up being unhuman and destructive. So let us continue here. You know, Machiavelli says, therefore, the the real can be targeted. The real cruelties can be specifically targeted to specific things. Are few, and but the benefit is benefits the many. The whole. See, again, so the cruelty is well, cruelty he well uses, uses the necessary violence and ruthless violence and the necessary cruelty in order to achieve a good. Where the pity does not, the, the pity or the piety, in this sense, does not produce the good. It actually leads to the opposite of the intention. Um, so therefore, this is a little it, um, a kind of echoing of the idea of, uh, uh, of other pe people, like a, ben, uh, um, a famous argument from um, uh, Ferdinand Mendeville, the famous uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Fable of the Bees, where the subtitle of it is uh, Private Vice, Public Virtue, Public Virtue, pri uh, pu Public Virtue, in other words, um, private advice would be public virtue. Uh, um, pr uh, pr public vir private virtue leads to public vice. Okay, and this is the weird thing about Mendeville was kind of an argu arguing against 
idea of the modern, the, the old class. I mean, in fact, Mandeville's argument would be that the attempt to achieve virtue, to push for virtue, ultimately ends up producing the opposite of what you intend. 